Hello, and welcome to today's Ninja Trader Ecosystem event, Build an Auto Trader in 15 Minutes. My name is Juanita, and I am the Ninja Trader Ecosystem Platform Representative at Ninja Trader. Before we get started with today's webinar, I have a few housekeeping notes. This webinar is presented by Ninja Trader LLC, which is the technology company responsible for developing and supporting the Ninja Trader trading software. Brokerage related questions should be directed to the Ninja Trader brokerage. Lastly, if you are new to NinjaTrader, please make sure that you sign up for real-time market data. Our platform is always free for advanced charting, strategy backtesting, and trade simulation. Before I turn the mic over to Jeremy and Zach, it is important to understand that futures, foreign currency, and options trading contain substantial risks and is not suitable for every investor. It is possible to lose all or more than your initial investment. Risk capital is money that can be lost without jeopardizing one's financial security or lifestyle. Only risk capital should be used for trading and only those with sufficient risk capital should consider trading. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Also, please remember that these training sessions are not a solicitation nor a recommendation, but simply educational in nature. Thanks again for joining us today. And without further ado, it's my pleasure to welcome to the Ninja Trader Ecosystem Webinar Room, Shark Indicators. Go ahead and take it away, Jeremy and Zach. All right, can you guys hear me okay? All right, I'm going to start my video here as well. well. I can hear you, Jeremy. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right. I love Zoom. It looks like I'm on a beach when really, actually, where I am, it's uh, it's snowing. Believe it or not, um, I don't see any snow on your head. <laughs> yeah, it feels like it sometimes. Uh, my name is Jeremy Tang. I'm one of the co-founders of Shark Indicators, and and the voice you heard there was uh, Zach White, who's also. Uh, one of the other co-founders of Shark Indicators. Uh, he's our product specialist and uh, I'm the uh, chief architect. Uh, so let me uh, go ahead and share my screen before I get too busy here. All right, you should all see kind of like a disclaimer up there. And just let me know, Zach, do you see yeah, anything there? Good. Does that look good? Okay. Coming in, yep, clear. All right, okay. So uh, today's topic uh, is gonna be about building an auto trader in a very short amount of time. And we thought we'd have a little bit of fun with this. Um, we're gonna say, give ourselves kind of like a time limit, like 15 minutes to build this auto trader from scratch or a kitten will die. So we're gonna, later on in the presentation, we're gonna get into that. But uh, if you haven't been familiar with, if you're not familiar with us and what we do, uh, this may be kind of an oddball type of, uh, 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 proposition, you know, because um, first of all, auto traders, if you're kind of thinking about it for a, a you know, it, it may be something that's a little bit um, kind of this, uh, what do you call it, like this concept that's a little bit out of reach. So let's go ahead and sort of discuss that. Um, because when you think of an auto trader, right, it, it, it's kind of a, I would say it's sort of a, um, a loaded word in this industry. Uh, and the reason why is because uh, there are certainly vendors out there that, that offer auto traders that are just, you can just buy off the shelf, if you will, um, meaning you can download it. Uh, and really, they're what they're tantamount to being is sort of these black boxes where you start it up and it starts trading for you. You really don't have any idea what the inner workings of this black box is doing. Uh, and uh, that can be kind of scary. And honestly, don't blame me at all. Like, that's probably why auto traders in general. Uh, I've got such a kind of a bad rap, um, you know, and for the most part, like these off the shelf products, uh, you, you really only can uh, manipulate a few of the parameters and whatnot. And, you know, just sort of tweak a little bit in terms of what and, and how it trades, but you're really not going to know uh, or really be able to fundamentally change the trading, the, the style of trading that this, these black boxes do for you. And, you know, therefore, uh, they can be kind of scary and intimidating. Um, so really, when you think about auto trading in general, uh, and, and those of you in this room, you know, let me, let me just address that right away. Some of you in this room may not be interested in auto traders at all, and that's actually perfectly fine. Uh, um, and, and you can't really change the, uh, the, 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 the uh, fundamentals of, say, a, a particular black box that you bought off the shelf. So what is your alternative? Well, yeah, I guess you can you can build an auto trader um, by yourself if that's kind of what you want to do. Um, and the advantages behind that is that you can have something that 
you know, imagine you have this auto trader that uh, is able to trade like using your kind of rules and your trading methodology and using your kind of risk uh, profile. Uh, and that's kind of a, a dream scenario for a lot of traders. Um, because uh, if, if you had something that traded just, just like you, uh, you'd be more prone to trust it. Uh, and, you know, just honestly, you'd be able to trade a lot more stress-free um, because it's trading like you would trade, except it's doing kind of all the heavy lifting for you. Uh, so that's really kind of, you know, something that we discovered early on when we, when we started our company is this, this is this idea that it really isn't a, a one size fits all situation. You can't just expect to have people like, for example, uh, buy your auto trader and say, ah, you know, this trades exactly the way I like to trade because every trader really trades differently. Um, and so the notion that you can sort of have one auto trader that, that, that works for everybody is, is ridiculous. Everybody's got a different style of trading. Um, and it's really apparent when you, when you watch people trade in, in action. But if you really think about it, if you want to say theoretically go about making a custom auto trader, <laughs> Uh, what exactly would you need to do to do something like that? You know, what would you have to, uh, what would you have to do? Yeah, exactly. To make a custom model trader. Well, pretty much you'd have to be either a developer or have the resources to hire one. Um, because these auto traders, that's exactly what it requires is uh, somebody that can develop it for you. Um, and, you know, we work for, we work with many uh, trading coaches over the years. And typically uh, they, they would like, you know, they, they like to build tools that are akin to auto traders, uh, even just things that would show off uh, maybe signals and whatnot that their system generates. And they'll budget between 10,000 to 30,000 uh, in development costs. And, and that's kind of what it takes to build something like that. It, 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 it takes some deep pockets is what I'm getting at. Uh, and believe me, like sifting through code, uh, even though this is something like I really enjoy doing, but say as a trader, right, you want to be more focused on trading methodology and improving your trading skills than sifting through reams and reams of code and finding bugs and that sort of thing. Um, and believe me, I've been a developer pretty much my entire adult life and also like, you know, all throughout junior high and high school. And, uh, I would say, um, with that amount of experience, even, even for me, building an auto trader from scratch uh, is very, very difficult. And that's kind of the premise of where our company comes in, is this idea that, you know, you know, there are people out there that would like to have, even if it's not a full-blown auto trader, at least the ability to build tools that, that can illustrate where their signals are and, and articulate their system, right? And if you really think about it, back test their system because okay like if if you sit down and think about what it requires to back test a, a system it actually requires a full-blown auto trader right you have to actually tell the computer when you're going in and when you're going out and the only way to do that in an automated fashion is to actually build an auto trader first auto trader has the auto trader has to be built first before you can actually back test the system uh in at least in a in an automated format, right? You can always back test by hand, I suppose, using Excel spreadsheets and, and marking off trades manually. But, you know, who, let's be honest, like who, who's got the time for that kind of thing? It's like um, too much work. <laughs> yeah, it's it's so much work. In fact, that it, it's it, it's just simply not done. Um, well, maybe maybe there's someone in this room that that has that that uh, that time and, and tenacity, but and I definitely would congratulate you, but there is definitely an easier way to do it. And so it really wasn't until you know, this kind of revelation dawned on us that we discovered, hey, there's, there's really kind of a market for this kind of thing. To be, and, and so we went and set about building a tool to allow uh, people like yourself or traders like yourself focus on trading and less about, say, coding and, uh, uh, you know, all the, the technical develop, software development side of, of, of building an auto trader so that you can actually take your trading ideas, focus on trading, and be able to back test and or even execute your 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 system. So you're probably thinking like Jeremy, well, I really don't have an interest in having a computer trade for me, uh, and that's totally fair. 
because not everybody has that kind of comfort level. Uh, and in fact, uh, this is kind of, you know, we, we chose auto trading as a sort of a catch all title, because like I mentioned before, that's what you need. If you want to do a back test, you need a full bullet auto trader. However, uh, what if you're not comfortable with the computer taking over hundred percent and that's perfectly okay. Because in fact, the way we kind of see it is, is there's sort of this spectrum on one side, you have full discretionary traders. And then on the other side, you have full automated traders, and then you have this entire spectrum in between. And, and a lot of people really just kind of fall somewhere in the middle of the spectrum, because like I said, not everybody can trust a computer to trade hundred percent on that on its own. And I don't blame you. Um, you know, computer automated trading takes a certain mentality if, you know, um, and on the other side, on the full discretionary trading side, not everybody is sort of keen to, to try to keep up with the fast markets and, and be able to like, say move stop losses and profit targets around quick enough as, as the market is, is flooding in with ticks, right? So a lot of people actually sit somewhere in the middle of that spectrum. And, and the best way to look at our tools is that it's not really a full-blown auto trader per se, it certainly can do that, but uh, it's more like an autopilot. You tell you as the trader, basically manage how the manage exactly how you, you tell the computer how much you want the, the computer to manage of your trade whether it's full-blown autopilot doing everything or somewhere in the middle like you know handle the entries and you handle the exits or vice versa um, or maybe you don't even want that maybe you want the signals just to display and then you handle all the trades uh, as they kind of go live manually right so or the opposite, you know, maybe, maybe you decide you want to handle the entries, but then have the computer uh, play out the entire life of the trade. And, and so that's kind of where, that's how our software fits in sort of this spectrum is it's, it allows you to be kind of the, the pilot and you have this ability to, to autopilot certain features of your trading. So, and, and you can switch it up anytime, right? If you want to, if, if the market changes on you and you want to switch to full manual control, you can do that. Uh, or and or if you decide to go back and 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 relinquish control to the computer, you can do that as well. Uh, and so that's kind of how, what our software does. And uh, I think it's probably the best way to, to uh, demonstrate this is to just jump right in and show you. So just before we begin, we do have two pieces of software to sort of complete the full circle. And and this presentation is kind of like an introduction to our suite of software tools, if you will. Um, so anyways, uh, Zach, go ahead. Let's, let's have you go ahead and, and demo. All right. Our yeah. Software. I just need to, re, uh, release the screen sharing for me. Okay. And let's, there we go. All right. All right. So now we're, uh, getting to the, the meat of this, um, webinar here. So let me just do a brief explanation, uh, additional add on to what Jeremy explained there. Um, so one of my primary roles here um, is I provide a weekly workshop here um, where it's a live um, webinar where anybody is welcome to come in and ask questions about our two main products here, right? So on Thursdays at noon Eastern time, um, I host the Bloodhound Workshop. And then on Fridays, I host the Blackbird Workshop, right? So this is where, um, you know, everybody's welcome to come in and ask questions live, such as, you know, how do you build this uh, with Bloodhound, you know, or how do you set up, you know, this stop loss, you know, within Blackbird, things like that. Um, so you don't have to be an, an owner of the software to attend these workshops. These are open to everybody. So you can see there's a registration link right there. So if you have, you know, questions, you know, before you buy, or if I, I notice that there's already a bunch of uh, people in the room that attend these workshops on a weekly basis. So uh, welcome to all the existing customers <laughs> out there. I see you guys are in the list there. Um, but for all you new people that aren't, you know, that are new to us, um, yeah, you're welcome to join these workshops and, and just ask your questions, you know, um, uh, so you can get better familiarized with them. So, um, again, so if you want to attend one of these workshops, just click on the link there to register 
and you'll get an automated email an hour every week, an hour before the workshop starts. You'll get emailed by Zoom, you know, that uh, with the link to the room there. So, all right. Um, all right. So that's that's one of my main roles there. Uh, oh, also to get to this page, um, you would just go to sharkindicators.com and then go to the support menu. And you can see the second item down is the training workshops page, right? So that link right there takes you to this page and that's where you can get to these um, registration links there. So, all right. Uh, so tomorrow there will be a Blackbird workshop for tomorrow there. And then the next Bloodhound workshop will obviously be next Thursday there. So, okay, so now let's, um, get into actually building an auto trader. So what I'm gonna do is kind of take you through a, a, um, a, uh, uh, a rapid, you know, a summary kind of uh, trader's journey here, right? So when, you know, when most people decide that they wanna become a trader, you know, the first thing you realize is, well, how do I know when to get into a trade? You know, and how do I know when to get out of a trade, right? So you start looking for, trading ideas out there. And nowadays, you know, the internet is just filled with thousands of trading ideas. So uh, for this demonstration, I went onto YouTube um, and I found this trading idea and we can see it's, it's actually from Trader DNA. Um, so this is a, a Forex trading company, I believe, you know, and they have lots of trading ideas and things like that. And the I think they're a trading coach, right? So they're there to offer their, their trading advice to you guys, right? But, you know, in any case, you know, this is one of those videos out there that, you know, that's showing you this CCI scalping system. So, you know, as a new trader, you're like, hmm, well, how does this idea work out? You know, how good is this idea? So I'm gonna actually build this um, in front of you guys here in literally just a few minutes. So. It's a pretty simple system. We can see it, it runs on a one hour chart, one hour time frame. It uses a 50 period CCI, a 25 period CCI, and a 34 period EMA. So the basics of this is you wait for price to cross the EMA. So we can see there's a cross down right here. And then you wait for the two CCIs to cross the zero line, right? And you can see all the shaded areas here where both price crosses the EMA, you know, and the CCIs cross that zero line, right? So those are kind of highlighting those, those entry signals, right? So those are the entry signals, right? And then later on, um, they get into, let's see if I can fast forward in here. There we go. And later on, they kind of very uh, briefly uh, kind of explain the, the profit targets and the stop losses. So the profit targets are a bit of a mystery, at least within this video. Um, so to me, it looks like, I don't know, some kind of an ATR type of profit target. Uh, the stop losses, when you kind of look through the video, you can see that they're using like a recent low point or a swing low point or a swing high point to set their stop losses. Right. So I'll, so in this demo, I'm going to set my stop losses at a swing low point and the profit target. I'll just set that at like a, a five ATR profit target there. Right. So, right. So here we go. Here's an example of one of those trading ideas out there. And of course, as a new trader, the, you know, the first question is, well, is this really a good system? Well, as Jeremy explained, you have to build a full auto trader if you want to get that back testing results to know if it's a good idea or not, right? All right, so that, that's the system, right? The CCI and EMA crossover system here. And so let's start building. All right, so I've got my little 15 minute kitten timer here. So I will do my best to save this virtual kitten. So, all right, so uh, on my chart, I have a couple of you know areas marked here so we can kind of see, right? Price crossed up above the EMA. We have the two CCIs crossed up, you know, and then price crosses down. 
and the two CCIs crosses down so we can see it on my chart here. So to build this in Bloodhound, we're gonna open this up. So, and uh, for you existing customers, you probably recognize this is the beta version. So for everybody else that's new to Bloodhound, this is actually a, a new, like a, a brand new kind of redesigned uh, beta version that we're currently working on. And it's got a bunch of cool extra features like it has an undo now and a redo, and it has a copy and paste uh, capability and, and some others here. But, you know, I'm, I'm under the gun here, so I got to just kind of get through this here. Um, so first thing we want to look for um, is let's identify price crossing this EMA, right? So I'm going to grab what we call a crossover solver, right? And a, a crossover solver looks for crossover conditions, right? So uh, this is going to be, uh, so we're going to look for the closing price of the bar to cross over the EMA 34. All right, so my first input, that's going to be the bar prices, and we're using the closing price. And the second input, well, that's going to be the EMA. So let's open up the indicator list. And you'll notice that Bloodhound has its own internal indicator list here. So as long as you're, you know, so you can use any third party indicator, you know, as long as it outputs its value in a way that's readable by another indicator, in other words, Bloodhound. So, right. So we, um, I want the EMA. So let's grab the EMA and change that to a 34 period and then click OK. And instantly we can see on the chart, right, those crossover conditions. So you can see that Bloodhound what gives you what we call racing stripes, right? So we can see a short, right, a red line there uh, when the price crosses down and a green line when price crosses up, you know, denoting, you know, a long condition, green and red for a short condition there. So, right, so that's, Basically, that right there is the beauty of Bloodhound versus trying to code up your own stuff, right? Because there's no way you could get to this this quickly if you're having to write your own custom code and stuff like that. So this is where Bloodhound saves you hours, if not days, of coding time. So, all right. Months. So I have price <laughs> more like it or weeks. Yeah, yeah. there. Let, let the expert answer that question. <laughs> Okay, so now let's build um, the other two crossovers here, right? So um, this is gonna be the CCI 25 crossing over um, the zero line there. So, all right, so our, our first input is gonna be the CCI. And so there's the CCI. And let's put it in a 25 period, call it good. Oh, let me connect this up too. There we go. All right, and for the zero line, um, that's a fixed value, right? That's the zero value of the CCI. So we're gonna use this fixed value and zero is the zero line. And there we can see on the chart, again, instantly, when the 25 period, which is the blue line, crosses up, we get a green. And when it crosses down of the zero line, we get, right, a short or a red, so. All right, so there's that. And so now I need the CCI 50. So I'm gonna go over here and make a duplicate of that solver I just made. And then I can just go make a couple of quick edits. So we now want the CCI 50 period. So now I can go into the CCI indicator, open up the settings and change that to a 50 period. All good. And so now I can drag this new crossover solver onto the board, connect it in and verify it, right? So, so this is the purple line is the 50 period. So there's the cross up and there is the cross down right there, right? So there we go. There, that's the main concept of this system. So now we need to join all these nodes together using an AND node. Right, because this the, the system rules is you need price crossing uh, the EMA 
and you need the CCI 25 crossing the zero line, right? And you need the CCI 50 crossing the zero line. So connect them all in, right? Now we can see sometimes um, everything crosses at the same time on the same bar. But over here, this cross down, if you look, the CCI 50 actually took several bars before it crossed down, right? So we need to kind of allow for one of the CCIs to be a little slow, right? Or maybe price is a little slow. So I'm gonna go in here and I can make a little adjustment there. So I think, um, yeah, like a, adding a three, oops, hit the wrong button, there we go. Three extra look back bars there to the system. Let's see, this is the CCI 25. Yeah, I think three ought to be good. And again, three bars. And yeah, we still don't have a short signal here. So I think this CCI 50 was apparently really slow. Let's try four bars. No. All right, five bars. And let's see here. No, is it really that far behind? Six bars? Um, let's see, let's connect that in. Oh, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong one. Yeah, we want the CCI 25 happened really early. Ah, there we go. So the CCI 25, yeah, let's extend that out to five bars. Okay, so the CCI 50 probably going to probably doesn't ever cross first. So you know, I could probably knock that down to three there, right? So what I'm illustrating there, uh, let's see, actually price. Oh yeah, so when price crosses, yeah. So even, so the CCI 50 took such a long time that, you know, even the price crossed several bars before the 50 did. So I need to increase that up to five as well. Yeah, there we go. Okay, right. So also what I'm kind of illustrating here is, you know, when you're building something, you know, you don't know exactly what settings to code your system to right off the bat. But with Bloodhound, I was able to go in here, tweak a few numbers really easily. And now I can get that missing signal there. You know, whereas if you were coding, you had to go back to your code, make some changes, compile it, and then run it again on your chart, right? But I was able to do this in real time, right? In a matter of seconds there. Okay, so now we have another thing, another issue here. I, um, sometimes we see multiple trade signals, right? Three bars of short signals, two bars of long signals, three bars of long signals, right? So we have another node that can address that. Uh, it's what we call a function node. So. Uh, these are kind of like uh, programmer, uh, you know, they provide various functionalities here. So I want the signal blocker and I can connect that in and the signal blocker, you know, it has a very simple job here, which is clean up your signals. So now I only have one bar uh, with a signal on it, not right, not several bars there. So now I have very clear, distinct signals. Right. Okay, so there's one, one more, um, one more rule here I need to add in. Um, I kind of skipped over this in the video. So the video makes it clear that you only want to. Um, this the system was built to only be traded when the London forex market and the New York forex market, when both time zones are, are open at the same time. Right, so there's this limited uh, window here um, that you're supposed to take these signals from, right? right? And that's because that during that window, um, there's more liquidity in the Forex, and but more, more importantly, the, the Forex market is more active, right? So it's not just kind of consolidating and flandering around the, during that time period. So I'm gonna add one more solver here and this is going to restrict my signals to a certain time period of the day. And I'm going to use one of these free tools here that comes with Shark Indicators. And it's called the Time Block. And, you know, hopefully the name kind of 
tells you what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to identify, you know, a block of time. So for my time zone, the London and New York um, um, Forex starts trading at 6 a.m. my time zone. And I'm going to, just for the sake of this, I'm going to be a little more liberal and I'm going to let the signals go until noon my time. So uh, it actually, I think, goes from 6 to 10 a.m., a four hour window of opportunity, you know, that you're supposed to take these interest signals here. But I'm going to broaden this up a little bit you now just for the sake of this. And I want to identify the times between, right, between 6 a.m. and noontime. So I'm going to select that. And there. So now we can see on the chart, you know, um, that window of uh, time where you're supposed to take those signals there. Okay. And I also need to make an, another adjustment as well to this. So let's see for the short. Yeah. Greater than. There we go. I hit apply. And there we go. So now I have a long and a short together. Okay. That's what I want. So now when we look at this, some of these signals should disappear because they're outside of that window, you know, uh, that time window there. So when I connect this in, yeah, look at that. About half the signals disappeared there when I connected that in, right? There's an extra signal and all those signals disappeared. Right. So there you go. That's kind of basically the last step um, in this system here. So now what I wanna do is I wanna save this system out here. So let me hit the save button and I already have a name there to kind of save me some time. So let's save over that system there. And there we go. So now I've saved this system out. And yeah, also I noticed, you know, every once in a while, it looks like you get these kind of choppy signals there. And so I'm gonna, I wanna actually add my own um, uh, filter to this system idea, right? And that's one thing that you can't do with a black box that Jeremy was kind of getting to is, right? If you go buy a black box, you can't really add, you can't add your own filtering. And so one thing I noticed here is, right, we have this long, long signal, but it's on a down bar. So probably to help clean this up, you know, I'm going to make sure that the bar is moving in the direction of the entry signal. So what I'm going to do is add one last node here, and that's a bar direction, right? So I want to make sure that the bar direction matches the signal direction. So I'll cl click that in there. And so that at least got rid of one of those choppy signals there, All right? Okay, so now let's save that, close it out, and there we go. So now with this, you can kind of scan through, right? And you can kind of eyeball these signals here. Actually, that's maybe a little, a little too tight there. But yeah, you can see that with the racing stripes, it allows you to kind of go through and at least give it the eyeball test, right? But, you know, doing the eyeball test isn't very definitive. So, you know, we want actual back test results now to really, you know, to save a lot of time. Yeah, we need to do back test results instead of trying to eyeball every single entry signal and calculate you know, in your mind what, what's going on there. Is it profitable or not? So the next step, so now we've got the entry signals built. The next step is to um, put it, put those entries into a strategy so that you can do the back testing, right? That's one of the kind of the, one of the, the secondary main function of a strategy is it allows you to perform back testing. So um, I'm gonna add, oh, let's see, I already got a Blackbird on here. Actually, I'm gonna remove that Blackbird. So, cause I'm gonna start from scratch. So I'm gonna add a new Blackbird and oh, my timer's over here, but I did actually get the system built under 15 minutes with an explanation. <laughs> so, so not too bad, uh, but let's go in and, uh, actually get some back test results here. So I'm gonna turn the back test mode on. 
and let's enable this. And I don't want exit on session close. So there we go. Let's get Blackbird up. All right. So here's Blackbird. Um, so to, to open up the menu or the, the user interface, we're going to click on the order settings button. And so to back test, the first thing you got to do is you got to provide your trade signals, right? So you can use Bloodhound or if you have a third party indicator that provides trade signals, right? There's a good chance that that indicator will output a signal that could be read, you know, by a strategy. So, so you can even use third party indicators here. So, but we're going to use a bloodhound signal. And so I'm just going to quickly load this in here. So um, I don't want to run out of time here. So there's my entry signals there. Um, and so now the next step is you have to um, explain what type of um, entry order do you want to use? So we're going to just going to use a market entry order. And then you can set up your profit target and stop loss. So um, I, as I mentioned, that, that profit target in that video, it doesn't say exactly what it is. Um, and my guess is it's probably somewhere around a five ATR, maybe a little more, maybe an, a seven or maybe even a 10 ATR, but I'll just use a five ATR for now. And then the stop losses, right on the chart, you can see the green and red. So those are swing points. Um, so it looks like from that video, they're using swing points for the stop loss here. So I'm gonna go to um, the trailing and go to, so for the stop losses, you know, let me explain this real quick. We have a bunch of pre-configured, you know, traditional kind of stop losses here. And this helps you get started a little quicker. So this is here to save you a little time. And then you can go in and totally customize this. So I'm gonna use the swing high and low trailing there, and then I'm gonna customize it. So I'm gonna use that to get started. And to customize it, um, I need to go into the swing indicator and I need to adjust one of the settings here, right? So I'm using a very small, uh, swing size or swing strength here. So that way we get swing points really rapidly there. All right. So I need to make that adjustment to that, um, to that quick list item. And then also here uh, for the trailing rule, right? So we have uh, the trailing actions tab is where you create all your trailing rules here. And so I also need to go in and adjust the uh, swing size down there, down to two, because I want it to match the swing size of the indicator that's on my chart, right? So I wanna make sure that, you know, Blackbird is using the same indicator settings that I have on my chart. So that's what I did. Right. So um, this trailing actions tab is what makes Blackbird's very powerful because you can custom build and tailor trailing rules to fit the way that you trade, right? And you can add as many trailing rolls as you want, right? So just for example, I just added a whole boatload of trailing rolls there. So you, you can make your trailing system as complex as you want or as simple as you want, all right? So one of the things I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make a break even. I'm gonna add a break even rule to this, all right? Let's do a break even plus 10 pips, right? So, um, you know, because Forex brokers, you know, the way they make their commission is they, you know, they, they grab a couple of tips or pips from you. So I'll make it a break even plus 10 um, at uh, 1.5 ATRs of profit, right? So once, once the trade reaches one and a half ATRs of profit, then we'll move to break even plus 10. So, um, so to build this, I need to I need to create that profit trigger, right? So I am, so I'm going to select the profit or loss, and set the mode to profit, and the units, uh, not currency, but I want ATR units. So I want to measure ATRs in profit, and put in 1.5 in there, 
All right. So that looks for that one and a half ATRs of profit. And when that triggers, right, when, when, when that profit level triggers, then the action is going to move the stop loss. And we want to move the stop loss to break even. And break even is basically your average entry price, right? That's break even. Um, and then I said I wanted to add a couple of extra pips in there, you know, so that um, the broker gets their commission. And this is still basically a, a break even kind of trade there. So I add, you know, 10 pips to the break even price there. And so there we go. So now I added my own custom break even there. <clears throat> so, um, all right. So, wait, we have the, the orders all set up. We have the trade signal set up. So now we're ready to back test. So, um, oh, and quickly, you know. Oh, actually, Zach, uh, we, I think we only have about three to five minutes left. So, uh, let me just buzz along real quick okay. here. And I'll all right. Okay. Yeah. Let's just kind of uh, reload this. Yeah, had a yeah. As you can see, like we're right. just barely scratching the surface of what's possible, and obviously we can't show not even like I'd say ten percent of what our software can do. But then hopefully this will give yeah. you a really broad stroke of what's possible with our, yeah. our software. So once you got the back test going, then you can go into the strategy performance and pull up you know Ninja's back testing results here, and um, yeah, look at that. Surprisingly. This actually made a little bit of money. Um, so you can see my, my dates here. I have 200 days of a one hour chart on there. So looking back 200 days, this actually did make some money, um, surprisingly, using this, this system here. So, you know, and what I was really hoping to show you is, is to, you know, fast forward on the playback connection, you know, so that we can actually see. Um, yeah, you, you can you can have it running. Maybe I'll I'll, okay. I'll talk while it's going. But as you can see, like the with this with our software, you can create full blown traded auto trading systems from scratch very quickly. Yeah. And you know, I'm gonna say we 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 did it sort of. Uh, I, I think maybe with one and a half kit, kittens of budget. Uh, would you consider the <laughs> <a> second? <laughs> yeah, right. So, I mean, like in all seriousness, like, you know, if, our, if you were to code something like this from scratch, um, you know, realistically, you doing both the signals and the actual strategy, like the actual stop losses, proper targets and managing all that stuff, you, you could be looking at months of development, um, you know, and, and believe me, it is one thing about the developers, like is, is like the thing that we hate the most is, is, is finding the bugs and fixing them. And, and there's plenty of that in just about everything you do. Uh, and, you know, so the whole point of our, our software is to have you skip all that stuff and be able to just, again, focus on building a really great trading system instead of worry about like hunting bugs down and whatever. Yeah. All right. So, um, yeah, there we go. Sorry. I had to back up my, uh, my uh, playback connection. I forgot to back it up. And so now we should see, there we go. There we should have a short signal popping up, there we go. So there's that, you know, uh, playback uh, simulated live uh, short signal that just came in. Let me shrink everything there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if we're running out of time, go ahead and take it over, Jeremy, because sure, sure. it's gonna yeah, take I mean, about a minute to play through, so. Yeah, actually we'll just have it kind of play through a couple of things while I, while I speak. Um, you know, again, what you witnessed here is uh, like really some really cool things is the fact that you can really toy around and experiment. You have that sort of ability to just uh, change your system on the fly and see what new results you get. And when you have that kind of power, really what that lets you do is arrive at a winning trading system or trading system that you're confident in trading much, much, much quicker. Uh, even if you plan to trade completely discretionarily, so our, our tools are uh, really an enabler of a lot of things. And, and yes, again, like I said, there's a lot to it, our software. Um, one thing we definitely do is, is with all our customers, we help support you. Uh, and uh, Zach, as he mentioned before, he does run a, uh, a workshop every week. It's a free resource. Um, if you buy our software or any of you are just trying it out, you can just join in for free, check it out. Um, if you have questions, 
he can answer them on the fly. So a lot of people email in and say, hey, how do I build this kind of system? I actually see a, a lot of questions in the chat already about how do I do this, how to do that? Well, every week, Zach actually can demonstrate how to build a lot of these things using our software. Um, we also have lots of online documentation, hundreds of videos. Uh, I'm not even exaggerating. We have 10 years worth of videos because we've been at this for quite a, quite a long time. And lastly, uh, we also do have one-on-one -on -one trading, one-on-one -on -one support, uh, if that's something that you that you need. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get into this is probably uh, the, the sort of the na next natural step. And Zach, if you don't mind, maybe just passing the, the screen sharing off to me oh, here. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah we gotta actually kill our own screen sharing here. Um, okay. New share. How do I cancel it? Oh, actually, it looks like right. I can. Okay, here we go. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I'm just going to quickly get into pricing and what our software costs. So again, what you saw there was actually two different pieces of software, Bloodhound, which is the signal generator, and then Blackboard, which is the actual strategy. So in NinjaTrader, there's two kind of worlds of uh, uh, apps, if you will, or add-ons. One is the indicator, and the indicator helps you put things on the chart and in our case, signals programmable signals in our case. And the strategy is actually the code that runs the implementation of putting on the trade, managing the order throughout the life of the trade and do things like money management and, and risk reward scenarios and that sort of thing. And that's what Blackboard, Blackbird is uh, responsible for. So to have a full-blown auto trader, you, can actually, you, you need both. Uh, if you're just interested in signals, or signal generation, uh, that's what Bloodhound is for. If you're just interested in, in managing trades, managing the actual orders and whatnot, that's what Blackbird is for. Um, and typically, you know, like, like I mentioned before, a lot of these, a lot of our partners that are trading coaches and they want to develop this kind of custom made software for themselves. Like I said, let's say, like I said before, they'll invest between 10,000 to 30,000 in, in development costs. Uh, obviously that's, that, that's quite out of the reach of most uh, retail, retail traders. Uh, and that's why, you know, we, um, you know, I'd like to impress upon you that, that that's where we see a lot of value, right? That this is really the, kind of the last pieces of software you, you need to buy because with it, as you just saw, you can pretty much implement any kind of trading system you'd like um, just using our software. So once you've got our software, you can, you can sort of trade all sorts of different systems going forward into the future. Uh, never worrying about always, you know, having to keep up with buy the latest pieces of software to keep up with the market and whatnot. Um, and in our industry, I would I would like to add as well uh, a lot of uh, our sort of uh, ecosystem partners and whatnot uh, and vendors out in the in the in the industry ecosystem tend to offer their software for you know, many thousands of dollars. Um, but we've sort of taken a different strategy. Like we want to get the, our software into the hands of as many people as possible. And so we come in at literally a fraction of what we see that's out there. Uh, so Bloodhound, it's under $1,000. Blackbird is, is $1,495. And Bloodhound and Blackbird together is $2,490. Um, but, and I'll just quickly get this uh, wrapped up before we have to go. There's more. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're, we're just going to extend a bit of a sale here. Uh, we don't do this very often. If you followed us for some time and checked our prices, we don't discount our stuff very often. Uh, but just because we haven't been on Intrader for a long time, uh, we're going to be uh, plus cutting years. Our... Yeah, <laughs> nine plus years. It's it's been a long time. Uh, um, we're going to cut our prices to, uh, to over twenty percent off um, Bloodhound to seven ninety five, and take three hundred off for Blackbird for eleven ninety five, and and seven hundred dollars off for the bundle. And let me just quickly get into this, our 30 day money back guarantee. We've been doing this since inception, which I understand is like quite, quite rare in our industry, uh, but we stand by our product. And basically we have no problems with that. If you are not satisfied in any way, uh, just simply ask for your money back. No, no hard feelings or anything like that. Um, and that's again, the whole point is to try to take the risk uh, out of buying uh, from us. Um, and to get a hold of that deal, it's going to be at this uh, URL here. You just go to our website, sharkindicators.com, and just go to May 20, 20, 2022. 
Thank you, Keith, for putting that in the chat. Uh, and basically, once you go there, you can get get a hold of these uh, deals, and that's going to be available to the end of the month. And one more thing, um, I know again uh, we're going to be kicked off any second. Uh, we're going to yes, thank you, Zach. We we actually just because we were out of time, I see there's a bunch of questions in there. We didn't get a chance to to get around to them. It, we did. We Zach just posted a link uh, to our Zoom. Um, uh, webinar, uh, go ahead and just click that link and we're going to open that room up right now and to answer your questions. Uh, just again, because uh, we have sort of a hard 45 minute time limit here. So that link uh, in the chat, uh, hopefully you can see it. Zach just sent it in and click that link. We're going to jump in that Zoom right now and uh, do a Q&A session. Yeah, so there we go. I'll put it in twice there. So yeah, use, you know our software is pretty technical, so we do usually get a lot of technical, you know, uh, questions and jargons, which um, Jeremy and I will both be there to answer for you guys. Um, so yep. So for those who have further technical questions about Blood Iron Blackbird, yeah, just join us in that Zoom link there, and we'll see you guys in just a, a few minutes. So. All right, and Keith put the special offers in there as well. Okay. Yeah, those yeah, are good till the end of May. Uh, there is a free trial that you're welcome to download. You got uh, 12 days to play around with it before uh, and still get uh, take advantage of those discounts. So Yeah, I did see a real quick cool question. How do I get a hold of this software? Again, it's sharkingakase.com. Go to products and you can go to uh, basic. Actually, you can, um, you can click this button, I believe, is it? Yeah, click, click, click that blue button right there and just say get get the bloodhound trial actually what that'll do is get you both both softwares to try out not just bloodhound but both okay i will right. see you guys in that zoom yeah well thank you ninja for letting us go over our time limit there yeah appreciate it once again thank yeah, you so much for being in the room like always we always enjoy having shark indicators and for just taking the time to share with all of our attendees if you enjoyed today's session we hope to see everybody in future webinars We'd like to remind you the information provided in this was that of Shark Indicators and not of Ninja Trader. All information is for educational purposes and should not be construed as trading advice. Enjoy the rest of your day and we hope to see everyone in future webinars. Happy trading from everyone here at the Ninja Trader ecosystem. Have a great afternoon, Keith, Zach, and Jeremy. It's always a pleasure to have you in the room. Thank you. Thank you. All right.